Which brings me to today's market. When you look at what went up today, it was strictly the COVID stocks. The Kramer COVID index was up nearly one and a half percent today after outperforming significantly yesterday, too. And that's why the Dow and the S&P got hammered, but the Nasdaq went up big. These stocks are back in play. And it's, it, it, and it's why this market's all about the three J's, Johnson, Johnson, J. I love having Powell on board, believe me, but it's the other two J's we need to succeed in making a vaccine. Or maybe it could be Regeneron or Moderna or AstraZeneca or Pfizer, anything, please. You can listen to every word Jay Powell is saying that he'll do his part to get those 22 million people back to work, but this simply isn't a problem for the Fed. It's not a problem for Mnuchin. It's not a problem for Congress. It's a problem for Pharma. Apple can't solve it. Amazon can't solve it. NVIDIA, maybe they're doing some pretty good stuff. But the home builders can't solve it. No. It's these guys. Only the pharmaceutical companies can beat this pandemic. Until then, we can see some industrials or oils or banks or airlines rally on the hopes that Powell will do his part. But there's only so high they can go without a vaccine. And now that you can see that they're being repelled and repelled hard. Bottom line. No broad-based rally from this level is sustainable without a major scientific breakthrough in the fight against COVID-19. This is pretty much as high as we can get absent a vaccine. Until then, while you're looking at it, stick with the Kramer COVID index, especially on the days when we get way too optimistic about a recovery. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.